Hey, I'm here with Tunde Obasan, who is the United Conservative candidate in Edmonton South. Congratulations on uh, winning the nomination, Tunde. Thank you so much, Jason. Great to have you on the team. I'm happy to be part of the team. So why don't you tell us just a little bit about your background? I'm a professional accountant and also a professional project manager. Right. So uh, in the last couple of years, almost 20 years, I've been working in both in private sector and um, public sector. So I have the experience in both areas, in finance, accounting, and all that. So a few years, a couple of years ago, I moved here with my wife and four children. And since then, we've been here in Canada working and making sure we do everything to make our life better. Awesome. So Atunde, tell me, what is it that kind of motivated you to put your name on the ballot to run for uh, the legislature in this election? Um, when we moved here to Alberta, we, we actually did a good research to say, okay, which part of the country are we going to settle to in? And we decided we're going to settle in Alberta. And the reason is that then the unemployment rate was just 4.6%, which was the lowest in yeah, the whole of Canada. It was Canada. basically full employment then. Yeah, exactly, right? And we said, okay, yeah, that is a good province for us to go. Economically, it's very, very viable, and um, that is a good place to raise a family. And we're here. And now since we've been here, we've never regretted it until recently when the NDP gave, government came in. And I decided that we can't allow that to continue. I need to step up and um, step out there and make my contribution to make sure we're able to get Alberta economy back, um, you know, back to where it used to be, mm -hmm. you know, where we used to be the leader in the whole of the country. I love it. So I know that you won in a very competitive nomination, which means you had to uh, get hundreds of people to come out and support you, uh, which means you've probably knocked on thousands of doors in Edmonton. Yeah. South. What are you hearing from Edmonton South residents about their concerns, um, their priorities? What, what do they want to see in a future Alberta government? Yeah, the issue that stands out really well, and that is what you hear almost every day you knock, is that people have lost their jobs. And like I mentioned, you know, 4.6 unemployment rate, if you look at it as of December, it was 6.4. That's really high. And, you know, in the past, Alberta is known to always have unemployment rate lower than that of the national. Mm -hmm. But now we have un unemployment rate which is higher than the national. That tells us something is going wrong. And a lot of people have lost their jobs, unable to take care of their family. You can't put food on the table. And that is something that is affecting the family negatively. People don't want that to continue. And again, the carbon tax. I've spoken to a lot of business owners. And what you hear is that this carbon tax is cleaning our businesses. Hmm. And it's true, right? Mm -hmm. Because they have to incur additional costs, even in a struggling economy. So that is not a good time for them, for you to, to, to say you want to punish businesses business owners and if individuals like us, you know, we've been punished for driving to work because you have to pay carbon tax when you buy gas. Mm -hmm. Eating your home during winter season, you have to be punished by the government for paying ta carbon tax, right? So all these things are things that, you know, residents are concerned about and makes them so unhappy. So you think there's a mood for change in Edmonton South? Obviously, of course. That is the, the change is in the hands of the conservatives. Mm -hmm. And that is why I'm so passionate about this elect coming election, that we're able to vote the right party, UCP, and awesome. transform everything. Well, thank you very much today for, your, for your, uh, putting yourself forward for this. And we wish you luck in the run-up to the election. Thank you so much, Jason. Thank you.